Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn how to create an Amazon ECS cluster with Fargate as its launch type. So in the previous videos we tried to create the ECS cluster with EC2 launch type wherein we considered EC2 instances as its underlying infrastructure right but in this case we'll be considering fargate wherein everything will be serverless first of all and everything will be handled by the aws itself we don't have to configure separately those ec2 instances okay so before actually creating a cluster what we can do is we'll first go and create a task definition Okay, so if you don't know what a task definition is, you can go and watch my previous videos of the same playlist wherein I have explained the concept of task definition in great details. Okay, so basically for creating a task definition, I will try to keep it more simple. So if you say that if I want to create a cluster of type EC2, then I need the task definition of type EC2 only. Okay. Whereas if I want to create an ECS cluster of type Fargate, then I have to create the task definition which is of type Fargate only. Okay. Otherwise it will show you some compatibility error. Okay. So that is something that you need to keep in your mind. Okay. So now let's go and create a new task definition. So since I'm working with Fargate in this lecture, I'll be selecting Fargate itself. And next step. And the first thing is I have to enter the task definition name. So my task definition Fargate. Okay. For the task role, I'll be using this ECS task execution role and for the operating system family Linux only for the this thing I'll be making use of 1 GB and likewise for the CPU I'll be using 0.5 vCPU and I'll be adding the container now I'll be making use of an nginx okay nginx and latest so you need to mention the whole name along with the tag so that is also important while mentioning the image now over here i won't be mentioning anything i'll be using the port of 80 and the rest of the things i won't be touching them as of now and add okay so now we are ready to go and the rest of the things as it is and create see how quick it is you know with Fargate everything is so easy it's like just happening within the minutes so now we are ready with our task definition created so what I'll do is I'll now go and create a cluster for that particular task definition so this one is what I'm going to select in the previous video we selected EC2 right but now since we are working with AWS Fargate we have to select this particular option as of now okay for the cluster name I'll be mentioning it as my cluster and we won't be creating a new VPC we'll be just enabling the container insights and create so now you can see that my cluster is created and over here i have got zero fargate zero ac2 and zero external so since i'm not running those tasks right so there are two options of course that is you can directly create a standalone task with this particular option or you can make use of services to run your tasks right so i'll be creating a service as of now and the launch type will be fargate itself and 
and everything got automatically entered my service name will be my nginx service okay and the number of tasks that i want is 2 and the minimum healthy percent i'll be selecting it to be 0 as of now and next step okay so i'll be making use of a default vpc and the subnets that i require are i'm making use of these as of now and yeah so the rest of the things i'll be keeping it as it is same over here and now you can see this review page and create service so now we'll be able to view the service wherein we'll see our tasks provisioning out here so in terms of billing the ec2 launch type cost totally depends upon the underlying ec2 instances whereas in case of fargate the cost totally depends on the cpu or memory requirements that are required per second so you only pay for what you what for what your task consumes okay so that's what it is so now you can see that this task is in a running state and we can access it via this particular public ip so let's go and try to access it you can see that this is what my nginx image is going to show once we access it so that's it for this Hope you found the video helpful. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you found the videos helpful. Also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you so much and have a nice day.